Hello and welcome to Indian News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. A notorious goon and accused under Maharashtra Control of Organized Crime Act and Maharashtra Prevention of Dangerous Activities Act, Irshad alias Ichupir Muhammad Khan was arrested by Tehsil Police recently. He was wanted under Makoka along with 16 of his gang members since February 2018 by city police. From the last two and a half years, the accused was absconding, police officials said. A police official said that acting on a tip off that the goon was hiding in the Dobi Nagar slums, they said police laid a trap with the help of Ganesh Pet and Kodwali police station. Under the guidance of DCP Zone 3, Rahul Magnikar, the arrest was made by senior police inspector Jayesh Darkar, police inspector Dilip Sagar, police inspector Swapnil Wal, Prashant Rathod, Sanjay Dubey, Pramod Shaniware, Sunil Thakur, Sanjay Mishra, Shambhu Singh Kirar, Manish Ramteke, Suresh Thakur, Krishna Chauhan and other police personnel. Nagpur Municipal Corporation Commissioner Radha Krishnan B has recently vowed to cancel the registration of those dedicated COVID hospitals in the city which are found violating NFC orders regarding their availability. Rate charges for patients. Real-time update of patients' data and other ICMR and health department guidelines concerning the COVID-19 pandemic. The Municipal Commissioner has issued an, an order in this regard and said that any dedicated COVID hospital found violating orders and guidelines would be liable for cancellation of registration under the Indian Penal Code, Disease Epidemic Act 1897 and other relevant laws. Owing to the rising number of coronavirus patients and casualties, the NMC administration has issued directives to all healthcare facilities to increase the availability of beds and reserve 80% of the operational bed capacity in hospitals for corona patients and the remaining 20% for sick of other patients. Nagpur Municipal Commissioner Adakshan B has recently designated 40 more private hospitals as a dedicated COVID hospital. He issued an order in this regard and with this the total number of dedicated COVID hospitals in Nagpur has risen to 102. 162 private hospitals had been given DCH status, Perfect Health Super Multi Speciality Hospital, Nucleus Mother and Child Super Speciality Hospital, Nelson Mother and Child Care Hospital, Chaudhary Hospital, Sri Krishna, Ridalai and Critical Care Center, Dr. KG Deshpande Memorial Center for Open Heart Surgery, Medicare Multi Speciality Hospital, Nirame Hospital, Central India Cardiology Hospital and Research Institute, Borkar Multi Speciality Hospital, Tamaskar Clinic, Lotus Hospital and Research Center, Rahate Surgical Hospital, Green City Hospital and Nursing Home, Mukherjee Multi Speciality Hospital, GT Padole Hospital, Anand Hospital, Private Limited, Aditya Hospital, Critical Care and Emergency Center and 22 other hospitals have been designated as dedicated COVID hospitals. Goods and valuable material worth Rs 60 lakh got destroyed in a massive fire which broke out yesterday morning in a timber mart situated in the vicinity of Lakhadagaj police station. This fire broke out around 6 am in the morning and soon engulfed a large portion of the area in which as many as 6 shops in the timber mart containing precious goods worth Rs 60 lakh were gutted. The fire started around 6 am around the morning. In the morning and due to its sheer scale, an estimated 45 wicked vehicles and a large number of fire fighting persons have been pressed into service in order to contain the fire. Dirulal Premji and Sons Anupam Timber Traders and Pawanji Thian Timber are among the shops which have been completely destroyed. Trader Nitin Haribhai Patel has expressed shock over the huge loss. The number of corona positive cases and casualties in the city due to the COVID-19 pandemic is rising at an alarming rate. The people's representatives are not paying adequate attention as far as tackling the crisis in concern. Many citizens of Nagpura are in favor of a strict lockdown and a memorandum in this regard has been recently submitted by Shiv Sena to the Nagpur Municipal Corporation Commissioner, Guardian Minister, Mayor and other authorities. But the plea seems to have fallen on deep ears and the administration is practically playing with the lives of the citizens. Therefore, it is vitally essential to break the chain of COVID-19 transmission, which will be possible only by implementing a strict lockdown in the city. An agitation in this regard was carried out today evening at Golibar Chow by Shiv Sera activists led by Upajula Pramukh Durangone. As many as 64 persons succumbed to the COVID-19 pandemic in the last 24 hours. With this, the cumulative death toll in the district has now reached to 1,879. 
On the other hand, 1,445% went home after recovery and obtaining permission from medical authorities in the last 24 hours. But the total number of recovered patients is now 45,372, including 25,718 patients who recovered during home isolation and treatment. The recovery rate of the district is at 77.05%. The total corona positive cases in the district is now 58,890 with 1,770 positive cases coming to light in the last 24 hours. While giving a breakup of the death, medical officials revealed that out of the total casualties, 301409 victims are hailing from the rural and urban areas of the district respectively, while 170 persons are from outside the district. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnakar says goodbye. Please do take good care of yourself.